All right, no politics on today's video. Today we're going to learn how to make the perfect margarita. Now, if you love margaritas like I do, you know that sometimes when you go to a restaurant, they're either too sweet or they're too sour or they're just not strong enough. And you know what? I absolutely hate it when it's not strong enough. I just can't handle that. But the first time I had a margarita at Carabas called the Carabarita, I was completely hooked because it's just sweet enough, it's just sour enough, and it has amaretto in it, and it is perfect. It was just the margarita I was looking for, and I finally came up with a recipe that is not exactly like the Carabarita, but it's awesome anyway. So how do you make the perfect margarita? Well, here's how you do it, and the secret, of course, is in the mix, in the margar margarita mix itself, and the kind of tequila you get. So here is the recipe for the mix. What you're going to want to do is get one navel orange, one lime, and one lemon. And then you're going to cut them in half and you're going to squeeze the whole orange, lime, and lemon into a two cup measuring cup. And this makes for the proper amount of sourness in your drink and you can only get this from fresh squeezed fruit. Then you fill the remainder of the measuring cup, the two cup measuring cup, with simply limeade, which is this right here. Okay, simply limeade, it's the only limeade that I use and everything else is basically has artificial junk in it. But simply limeade contains water, lime juice, sugar, and natural flavors, nothing else. And also you want to definitely want to stay away from the traditional margarita mixes because they are horrible and they contain sodium benzoate, which is basically rocket fuel. Okay, now you have your margarita mix. All right, next you're gonna take a 12 ounce tumbler or margarita glass if you want. I use a tumbler and fill it with ice to almost full and I use cubed ice to leave room for the liquid. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take one ounce of 1800 silver tequila. Now the reason I like 1800 silver tequila is a 100% agave tequila and you will find they're much better and much sweeter than tequila made with less agave. They're more expensive but I absolutely love silver tequila and tequila uh, to, uh, 1800 silver tequila and tequila to me smells like a cologne and reminds me of a tropical beach. I absolutely love it. All right, then you're going to pour in one half ounce of Grand Gala orange liqueur and then one half ounce of the Serrano Amaretto. Then you're going to fill the rest of the glass with the previously made margarita mix and bang, you have got the absolutely perfect margarita. You, of course, can adjust the tequila and the other spirits to uh, your liking, but the stronger, the better in my book. You, of course, have to mix it up with a straw or a spoon, and that, of course, is how you make the perfect margarita. Mmm. Enjoy it.